Hey folks, Matt from ArtOfTheImage.com. The news from Panasonic and the flushing out of it and basically realizing that it's a concentration on the ILCs and getting rid of point and shoots made me think. Because lately, some of my favorite cameras have been point and shoots, specifically Panasonic point and shoots. The Panasonic LX10 is one of my favorite cameras ever. Super fast, awesome, high quality lens. 4K, one inch sensor, and I've said several times now that the one inch sensors of today, what they are producing now with the backlit one inch sensors are as good or better than fairly recent um, APS-C sensors. So, you know, technology is moving forward and these one inch sensors, same as the fact that the current APS-C sensors are as good or better than our first full frame sensors. The one inches now are killing it. And... So I'm hoping, I said in the previous video that I hope that if Panasonic's getting rid of point and shoots, that doesn't include cameras like the LX10, which are arguably not a point and shoot. They're a very high end, compact, fixed lens camera. The Sony RX105 is a big seller. The whole RX100 series has been, it's been very popular. Same type of thing, like that camera too. So um, this begs a question, I actually had a reader, a viewer, that uh, commented on this. They said, this is the Anxious Vegan. It's their YouTube username. Um, they said, uh, I have DSLRs, mirrorless, and point and shoots. They all serve a different purpose. If anything, the point and shoot cameras are getting so good that it would be more feasible that they replace mirrorless and DSLRs, not the other way around. Now, I found this interesting because this thought has crossed my mind. Many times when I go out, all I want to grab is the LX10 or when I had the RX105 here, the RX105. Because for most purposes, they are more than enough because their, their image quality is so good now and their video quality is, both of those are 4K, very good video cameras. Um, they're small, compact, light, and easy to take with you. Throw a couple extra batteries in your pocket and a few memory cards and you're good to go. You can, you can use those, especially if you think about versatile ways to shoot. They can, they can handle most of what you would probably need to do without the full heavier setup and all the various lenses. So um, kind of a, a contrasting the point of Panasonic getting out of those. And again, I hope that doesn't include something high-end like the LX10. But uh, our point and shoots now, the high-end one-inch sensor. Now, maybe you don't want to call them point and shoots, point and shoots, but the high-end compact cameras with a one-inch sensor and high-quality lens and 4K video, like the LX10, like the uh, RX105, are they good enough that they can replace uh, ILCs and DSLRs for most of your current use? Would you be happy with one of those and your cell phone? Or conversely, what about one of those would have been an LX10 or an RX105 and a high-end full-frame DSLR for photo work when you need it. Let me know what you guys think. How do you guys uh, feel about that? What would you do? Let me know in the comments below. Are you yay or nay and why? And if so, what type of setup would you use? Would you, for me, that would probably be my cell phone, an LX10, a Panasonic LX10, and Ideally, probably a Nikon D810, because I love that camera. I could probably make do with a Sony a7R II, but I think I would go with the Nikon D810. But let me know what you guys would do. Leave it in the comments below. Let's discuss this. It's an interesting thought exercise and just an interesting question. Are these high-end compact cameras good enough now? Thanks for your feedback, The Anxious Vegan, and thanks for tuning in, folks. Stay tuned. We'll be back soon here at artoftheimage.com.